All right, let's take a look at question number nine. In question nine, we've been assessed on how to um, make use of the properties of equality, okay? So we are gonna be given um, two steps and basically we, our task is to identify what property of equality was applied in the algebraic simplification process, alrighty? So we have four options here. Before we get started with the problem, let's go ahead and refresh our memory as to what our properties of equality are as indicated here. So some of them apply to a lot of them that we have here apply to both addition, addition, and um, multiplication, multiplication. Okay, so first one, do you remember what your associative property of uh, multiplication and addition are? Well, it's as follows, for addition, if you have A plus B plus C, is the same thing as, so you have these two associated together and you add first, is the same thing as A plus adding B and C together first, okay? So however you associate or group the fa uh, numbers that you're adding together, it doesn't really matter. You get the same thing. For multiplication, let's say you're multiplying A, B, and then multiplying the product by C, is the same thing as multiplying B, C first and multiplying the product by A. Okay, so this is known as the associative. Think about associative as grouping with parentheses. Commutative, think about commuting. Commute basically means you're moving, right? So if you have A plus B, for addition, it tells you that A plus B is the same thing as B plus A. So you notice how these two have commute, their positions have um, moved. So uh, A is not a second term, B is the first term. The order has been switched but the sum remains the same, okay? So commutative property, think about order. Uh, when you're adding or multiplying, uh, so A times B, the order does not matter, all righty? So that's your commutative property. Now the distributive property, um, just think about distribution. If you have A, uh, well this one, is a combination of addition and multiplication. So let me put it in the center. A times B plus C, what you do is you just distribute, right? A to B, A to C, and then that gives you AB plus AC. Last one, addition property of equality. If you have an equation statement, let's say A is equal to B, then what you can do is if you add the same number value to both sides, let's say you add C to both sides, guess what? The equality is preserved. So then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Bam. Alrighty. So let's see what's happening in the problem that Kate is working on. So Kate started with P square plus 5 equals 8P minus 7. And then she ended up with p squared plus 12 equals 8p. Hmm. What happened here? You notice that this negative 7 that was present here before is no longer present. So she kind of got rid of the negative 7 from the left side. So the question now is what do we do to both sides of this equation so that this negative 7 is gone? To get rid of negative 7 we use the inverse operation. What is the inverse of minus 7? The inverse of minus 7 is you add 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 7 to both sides of the equation. Do you see what the answer is based on what we just did? What we did is we added um, a constant to both sides of the equation and the resulting answer is going to be p squared plus 12 equals uh, 8p which is this right here, this equation. So we added a number to both sides of the equation so we can clearly see that this has nothing to do with association, commutative, no distribute, it's option number four. That is the answer to this question. All right, so if you take a look at all these four properties, which one do you think is easiest for you to remember? Which is the easiest property for you to remember? 
go ahead and tell us your answer in the comment section below and tell us why that particular property is so easy for you to remember. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. As indicated earlier, we would like to know what you think. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We update our page with math videos almost every single day. So um, subscribe so you can get updates to the um, uploads that we've made. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests for presentations you'd like us to work on, just post it in the comment section below. A lot of support resources can be found on our website, mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.